If you're from the UK, you will know that Horizon Hobby, they don't give a shit about us. And neither do Traxxas actually either. So when I saw they were having a Christmas in July and I saw some of the prices, I felt a little bit left out. But luckily, we have a friend in the US, and they go by the name of A-Main Hobbies. And when I say we have a friend, I'm talking about all of us in the UK. Best friends forever and ever. Oh, friend. $199, $149, $69, $69. This wasn't in the sale, but with combined postage, it was cheaper. And this wasn't in the sale, but again, combined postage made it cheaper. From when you buy something from outside the UK, Usually, when it comes into the UK, you have to pay 20% tax, which we call VAT. And I know you guys in the US, depending on what state you're in, depends on what tax you pay. We have a flat rate of 20%. It's a little bit more complicated than that, but because of how much that was, that was, and that was, A-Main added the VAT on before I bought it, and then I just paid shipping. Because the vendetta was over the threshold, there was no VAT added by A-Main, but I had to pay £40 VAT when it got to the UK. Even with the tax added and then the admin fee that our couriers like to add for doing a bit of paperwork. I'm going to put on the screen now how much all this cost me. And then now I'm going to put on the screen how much it would have cost me if I bought it from a UK hobby shop during July. She took the house clothes, she do everything, you know? It's called give thanks, you feel me? So Christmas in July was only if you lived in America. That doesn't sound fair to me. Some of you are probably watching thinking, why do you need all of that? Well, well, the truth is I've already got all of these. It was just a case of feeling left out. I've already got a Vendetta. I've already got a low C drag car, not the F100, but I've already got one. And I've also got a roller under here that I bought ages ago in another sale with A-Main. And then I remembered before doing this video, I remembered that in that box, is a Ford F100 body. The same as that, although it's just a clear body. So I've decided, oh, I thought I got yellow, I got black one, that looks what. I am gonna let you guys have a chance of winning all of it. Well, all of it apart from one roller, because I need that for a project. I will discuss that more in a minute, how you could win it. Look at this, it looks so cool. Maybe I should scrap that idea and I should keep it. Wow, that is good. Right, anyway, quick channel update. Welcome to This Week at Tomley's and all that. As always, I have been very busy. There's lots of boxes, lots of empty boxes, cars in there. I haven't had much chance to get the Hilux out recently. It does make a good uh, mount though for cameras and stuff. So what have we been doing? Well, I've just finished review for the MT12 from Team Associated. That should be out tomorrow, day after from this release. So just finished that, uh, Reflex 4. 14 MT. That was that was good fun, although lots of people in the comments saying the motor mounts are a bit rubbish on them, so we need to keep an eye on that because it did destroy a spur. Good fun though, and very fast out of the box on two cell. And then just here, this is brand new from Charisma. This is a Colin McRae Subaru Impreza. That's the M48S. Just in the middle of doing a review for that, so that will be out shortly. Good price on that. However, there's something about it that I wasn't too sure on. And on the subject of rally cars. In that box there that I can't show you at the moment, there's another rally car, and I think that that's going to surprise a few people. Uh, that's for another day. Actually, talking of that, this arrived the other day. I've done some of the video. I'm going down to see Mr. Talbot this week, so I might take that with me. Nothing else really going on here. This thing, I'm just working on the video for this. Oh my word. What I'm going to say is, a winning recipe right there. BBX, very popular video. That's done really well. Doing another video of that this week. I've had to buy a slipper clutch for what I'm doing with this. So that will be coming at some point in August. I've been after one of these for ages. I've got one now. It needs a little bit of work, but I'll think of a video to do with that. And other than that, it's just... <laughs> Same, same as it always is, a complete mess. So something I did last week was I got rid of my buy me a coffee. Now there's a good reason why I did that and it's those that have bought me a coffee or the 30 odd people that were members, I just don't feel like you should be paying me every month for like a membership when I don't really do anything. I've done a few giveaways on there now and again, I'll put a post up, but I got rid of it because I don't want you to be giving me money and me not giving you anything, if you know what I mean. And I may have a solution for future giveaways. Doing giveaways is always a massive ball ache. In the past, I've given stuff away to people in the comments. And the issue with that is people go out their way to pretend to be the person you've chosen and 
try and scam you. And there's also loads of people trying to scam you in the comments anyway. So that's always a pain. I've done giveaways on the buy me a coffee, but again, there's a few that I've emailed people and had no response from. So I'm, there may be a solution. Raffle, which is the website I use for the prize competitions, just in the process of revamping the website so you can now follow people on there. When I got the email, something caught my interest and that was that they're looking at doing prize competitions for followers only and that it can be free. While we're chatting about that, let's get the vendetta out as well, because let's have a look at that. So they've not done that yet. You can follow, and the follow button's on the website at the moment, but it doesn't look like they've done anything else. If you're not interested in these prize competitions, or you don't agree with them, because quite a few people don't, and that's up to you, you don't have to enter. But if free ones are something you're interested in, then it might be worth going over just to give me a follow. And then when they do finally allow for free ones, you'll be one of the first to know. This is so nice. I've got the blue one, but this, like, it's like a lime... Lime green, I don't know. It's a bit like a greeny yellow color. It does look really good. Mine is uh, a bit dusty under here. So there's a link in the description. So if you do want a chance to win all of this, brand new Armour Vendetta, brand new low C F100 drag car, and then a roller, which you can either use as spares or you can build your own. You'll get all three of them. You'll get a classic hoodie, not as <laughs> worn as that. That is an OG one. I've had that. I think, that was, I think that's the very first sample I ever had. You will get a hoodie, you'll get a t-shirt, and I'll also throw in a mug, a clean one. More information about what you're getting in the description. And like I said, give me a follow on there. As soon as they allow me to put a free competition up for followers, I promise you it's the first thing I'll do. And I'll make it worthwhile, maybe an MT-10, or another Vendetta, or I don't know, you tell me, what would you like to win for free? Imagine Horizon Hobby selling products that well, I've got a leaky shock here, it's brand new. Can't give this to you guys with a leaking shock. Look, it's soaked. It's all over there. It was all inside there, I've wiped it all up. Also, it looks like someone's put that on with a pair of pliers. It's got like teeth marks in it. Not like human teeth. Don't worry, I will put it right for you. Not a lot out there, but it makes a mess. At least when it arrives to you, if you win it, you'll know that I did try. <laughs> I did try and sort the leaky shock out. I nearly forgot to tell you why I had to buy an XLX2. Wow, after the Rosser event this year, I am already prepping for next year. And this, my friends, Hobeo or Hobao VTE2. This one's already built and, and it wasn't me that built it. You can see it's dripping in scorched RC parts, titanium shafts, rotor lock, I think it's called a rotor lock mount, chassis, upper brace, shock towers, and there's a little clue to where I got it from, but I didn't win this. If you're in the UK, then go check out Hobby Comps if you want to win something. I have in the past done some sponsored videos for them. However, this one isn't sponsored, but the winner on Hobby Comps didn't want this and wanted a cash alternative, so they took the cash. And then Nick, who was one of the guys there, was selling this off, and I got a good deal on it. So this little bad boy with an XLX, a nice motor, is hopefully next year gonna get me to some serious speeds. We'll see if we can upgrade the uh, 100 mile an hour hat. Yeah, so that's why I got that. 